Well, Dar Darnell, obviously a 4 nothing shutout last game, strong overall team performance. You guys are looking to build upon that here. What did you do differently in that game, do you think, against New Jersey that resulted in you having the kind of success you did? Yeah, I think a big thing we've been talking about is checking, uh, playing five tight all over the ice, and we did more of that. I think, uh, obviously, look back at the game, there's still we still still be better. Um, but uh, to have the result we did, obviously, it was a big game for us on home ice. We wanted to finish that, uh, that standoff on the right note. Um, but we, we checked well, and it led to offense for us. So, First matchup this season against Anaheim. These guys have been a rival of yours, played you in the playoffs a couple of years ago. I know there's some different uh, players involved, but they've always had a, a bit of a way they played. You know, they've been an aggressive team. What are you expecting today? Yeah, a lot of the same. Um, they're a team that checks hard. They got a lot of, you know, good, good speed. They check well. Uh, they play the game hard. So uh, anytime you're playing within your division, um, it kind of amps things up a little bit, and especially when you're playing a team like Anaheim, who it, it kind of seems like no matter who's uh, at the helm of, uh, of, the, of the bench, uh, they're always a team that plays hard. Um, they're, they're a team that plays heavy and plays right into uh, the way our whole division kind of plays out. So we got to bring that, that tight checking game again. And uh, you know, for us, it's, it's, it's a big game. All right, Ethan Bear now has played 12 of the last 13 games, 20 plus minutes. You guys have developed, do you, have you developed a rhythm with him? Or are you looking for him a bit when he's on the ice? How has he helped complement your game? Yeah, Bears, he's obviously such a such a, a good player, um, especially with the puck, his, his ability to make those little plays coming out of the D zone, uh, find, find plays in the neutral zone. Yeah, 100%. Uh, it helps to, to play with a guy like that because he moves the puck so well. And, uh, you know, it, it complements him. You know, it gets up to the winger, and I'm, I have the ability to jump up and then kind of join in. So, uh, you know, it's just reading off each other. It's, it's, it's come along. I think we've uh, developed some pretty good chemistry in the D zone, too, uh, being able to, you know, play our own, play our own sides and, and kind of hand off jobs to each other uh, so we're not venturing all over the ice. And uh, it's, been, uh, it's been good so far. We've got to continue to, to work and, and be reasons that uh, – we have success. It's the mom's trip. Is there a different pressure when it's the mom's trip as opposed to the dad's trip? You do. You obviously don't have to worry about reining the moms in like you have to worry, especially your dad, <laughs> reining right the dads in. But uh, just the thought on on having the, the moms on the trip and what that's like for the guys. Yeah, it's uh, obviously you look around. There's a lot of fathers trips, and I, I know there's a, a few moms that their sons have been in the league for for a lot of years now. This is their first one, so. Um, it's very special. I think, you know, for me personally, uh, I know my mom sacrificed a lot. She used to drive me back and forth to, from Hamilton to Toronto in the middle of rush hour traffic, uh, you know, three, four, five times a week. Uh, so he, he, I'm just thankful that I get an opportunity like this to, uh, you know, kind of share, share in what uh, all that sacrifice, all that driving, uh, and hopefully uh, she sees that it paid off for something. Jason joked around in the last game saying that moms are always loving you where dads can be a little bit more critiqueful <laughs> when it comes to games. Is that, is that kind of the same sentiment with you guys in the Darnell uh, State Nurse household? Oh, no, we get pressure from both sides, so there's no, <laughs> there's no laying off the gas, but we get pressure from both sides. But uh, like I said, it's just awesome having, uh, having the moms trip here, and uh, we're very fortunate to have them. Uh, Darnell, just a quick comment on before the season began, there's a lot of talk surrounding head coach Dave Tippett's plan to bring down the team's goals against. And you said it really hit home for you. We're nearing the quarter mark of the season. You guys are fifth best in the NHL in that regard. One, how good does that progress feel? And two, what's allowed you guys to make such significant strides in that department? Well, a lot of it goes into to the buy-in that our group has had. Obviously, um, we're a team that you know, for a long time now has had a lot of Great offensive weapons, um, but you know the, the buy into the defensive and the checking side of the game uh, hasn't been enough, and uh, we, we've we've been buying in, and it shows. You know when you you keeping pucks out of your own net, it gives yourself gives your offense and your your team the opportunity to to capitalize on on the offensive uh, power that we do have, and uh, you're not chasing around uh, chasing the game so much. You're you're kind of playing with control, and that's that's how you've been so far. It's been been pretty good, but. You know, we're not satisfied yet with with uh, you know our, our checking our or um, our ability to keep the pucks on that yet. I think there's still steps we need to take uh, to continue to improve over the course of the year. But it's uh, it's been good. Uh, it's been a good start to the year. That seems to be another common theme is that you guys are happy with your guys' record. But you guys are never satisfied. Is that a, tra a trait that has kind of grown in this locker room a little bit? I think it's. I don't know if it's grown. Uh, you're never really satisfied until. 
you know, in this league, you, there's only one goal until you get to that goal. You can't be satisfied. So I think that's kind of the, the approach that uh, we've had we've had so far this year. And we got to continue to improve our game because you know, as as the season goes on, uh, games ramp up, teams continue to get better, and you got to stay on that same same uh, page, or you get left behind in, in the end of the day. So we got to continue to grow because uh, the, the games just continue to get tighter and tighter and more important.